Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done a football video, so I thought I'd put one together on some of the accessories that I take and use with me when I'm shooting sports like football. Um, and so I think what we'll do is we'll head over to pitch side a few weeks back when it's quite a bit warmer than today, and we'll take a look at some of the gear that I use. So there are two things that really actually are pretty much almost essential. Um, the first one is your monopod. If you're using a long lens, you're going to not want to sit there and hold that the entire time. So this is uh, pretty much critical. Uh, this one is actually a Manfrotto monopod. It's a fairly heavy duty one. I'm not too worried about the weight because I don't have to carry it around too far. Um, but the main thing about it being really strong and heavy is uh, when you're using a big lens on it, it's not going to flop about at all. And that's especially important if you're going to be using two cameras and sort of propping this up uh, against yourself. The second thing that's needed every game really is something to sit on. So I like to use these tripod swivel stools. The main reason being is I can turn. Um, it makes it really easy. This one, I've actually fr like 3D printed some bigger feet on it, stops it sinking in. But you can also get these like little discs. Um, I think they're actually for motorbike stands that you can put under things like that. So in that way you won't sink in. So that's another a good tip if you're using one of these styles of, of seats. Then the third thing, which is really essential if you've got two cameras with you, not so much if you've only got one, is a strap like this. So this is the Black Rapid Sport. Um, and I prefer the Sport one because it has this underarm strap here. And so this really stops things moving around when you don't want them to. And so when you don't want to go and pull up your second camera, you know this isn't going to spin around and like pull your jump around with it. So it makes it really easy to bring it up and bring it back down and you can let go and not worry about it. So then when you're using two cameras, if you've got this one set at the right sort of length, you can put it on your shoulder and pull up the second one without anything moving around. Everything's exactly where it should be. And if you're using a goal cam, I'm actually using my goal cam now to film this, so I can't show it, but I'll, I'll put a clip in the video. So there's a couple of things you want there. One is a tripod. So I've got like one of the little really mini ones. Um, and then also I've got this one that's on right now, which is a standard sort of lightweight travel tripod. You don't need to go too high and it's, it's going to be sitting on its own. So shouldn't need too much in terms of stability. Um, so any kind of basic tripod is going to work, but the height is just going to depend on what angle you want. And so I've done sort of low down corner shots and then more sort of middle uh, directly behind the goal. And it depends on what kind of angle you're after as to what tripod you need for that. The only other thing then for the goal cam is really you want some kind of cover for it. So you're not going to, be able to quickly pull a cover out your bag if it's the other side of the pitch and, and you're sitting in a corner or something or on the sideline. So you want a, a cover for it. I'll put a link below to the one that I use. It doesn't need to be anything special. It's just got to cover the camera, keep it dry. You're not actually handling or using any of the controls for it. So you don't need to worry about anything too fancy. So the other thing you're going to need for a goal cam is the remote. Um, I got a, a generic one off of uh, Amazon. Uh, it runs off of the RF Wi-Fi frequencies, so it works quite far. I think it says up to 165 foot, um, so plenty long enough to go from the sidelines to behind the goal. Just make sure you don't pick up one of the um, uh, infrared ones because the range on them isn't very good. You've got to be in front of the camera and also uh, it's going to need that infrared line of sight, so a cover is going to block it, so you don't want to uh, use one of those. Last bit of gear, which I haven't got out my bag yet, um, hopefully won't need it today if it stays like this, uh, is then ca uh, camera covers for these cameras, the ones I have on me. So for those, I use the, these Optech clear ones. They're really lightweight. Um, there's not much to them, that, like you could rip them fairly easily. Um, so in some ways you could view them semi-disposable, although I've used mine for actually a couple of seasons and not had to replace one. So they seem to have held up all right. Um, they do a really good job. They're, they're super lightweight, so you can keep them in your bag all the time. You don't notice them. Um, they take a bit of time to sort of pull over the camera. So if it is going to rain, it's best to do it before the game or in like half time or something like that. Uh, so you're not messing around because you, you know you're going to miss a shot. You know there's going to be a goal when you're faffing about with the camera. But the other thing that's going to be really useful for those is getting hold of like the Velcro straps. So these aren't like the adhesive ones that stick to the camera, but they stick to themselves. So once you've got your camera covers on, I usually use those to wrap around and it just stops the covers moving around. Um, it really holds them in place. The only, the only downside i found with the Optic ones, and it could be the same with others as well because I've, they're the only ones I've used on my main cameras, um, is you can get a bit of condensation. So if it's cold, uh, it's been wet, and then you put these camera covers on, the warm cameras can cause a little bit of condensation in there. So 
When uh, there's like breaks in play, I do sort of slide the cover back a bit just to help vent any of that out. But it's been pretty minor and that's only really in extreme conditions. So those covers have actually served me uh, pretty well over the time I've been using them. Right, with that, I better get the rest of my stuff ready for the game.